We're Kels, Jay, and Pippa, <laughs> and this is our home. After spending two months to convert it, we're now living in it full time, adjusting to cooking, cleaning, and all the discomforts that come with living in just 83 square feet of space. As we prepare to leave the comfort of my parents' driveway in Connecticut to start heading south next week, we also are facing all the anxieties that come with it. Van life is not easy. Get this day started. Don't try to separate the ones you hate from the ones that you don't know. Cause there's a part of you that never could let go. I'm chasing shadows around the place. I shouldn't take a long now. There are definitely some things I'm going to miss once we get back on the road again. And the first thing being this amazing coffee that my parents have <laughs> at their house. Oh. So for today, I'm just going to write down a list of things that I need to do before I get started. It's really nice to like kind of organize my thoughts just because if I don't, they're like all over the place. Jay's finishing up some projects. We have some exciting things happening to the van. Yeah, we're still kind of adjusting to this life learning all the different things that come with it learning you really have to stay organized you really have to have a single place for every single item or else things get chaotic fast we've been really enjoying our time here in connecticut we've sort of blinked and somehow already been here for six months as we get ready to leave and hit the road again full time we've had a lot of time to reflect on ourselves and how we want to continue to grow as people We've also realized in the last few months we faced a lot of anxiety and I think it's the kind of anxiety that sometimes comes when you start to follow your dreams. Being home, we've been asked multiple times from people we love when we'll finally get a real job. And it's in those moments when we're struggling to make ends meet that that voice starts to creep inside our heads. You know, the one that tells you you're not good enough, the one that tells you to just give up and go back to that comforting, cushiony job. So my passion since the time I was a little girl has been to make videos. Hi. Kelsey, how old are you now? Three. You're three? I'm going to take a look in there. You're going to take a look in where? In there. In here? Yeah. All right. And in the chaos that is life, I somehow found myself four years ago getting my master's degree in business far from my passion. And I think I did that because it's what I thought society wanted me to do. It's what I thought I was supposed to do in order to be accepted by society. So after I got my master's degree in business, I ended up getting a job in sales. And while I learned a lot uh, during my time there working in sales and I had a pretty comfortable salary, I was far from happy. We 
We've been making videos on YouTube for two years now, and it's been really tough on us at times. Besides not seeing true growth in a while and our ad revenue at the lowest it's ever been since we started, when you put your all into a video just to see it tank, it can be really demotivating. It can make you start to question everything. So just to keep it completely real with you guys, during those dark, trying times, those anxieties have crept in and we have thought about how easy it would be for Jay just to go back to his job building houses. He loved his boss, he loved his coworkers. I could probably find a job using my master's degree and probably get a pretty comfortable salary as well. And together we'd live really comfortably and never have to worry about the worries of money or people asking us when we're gonna get a real job. But we know in the long run we wouldn't be happy. We know we'd live with the regret of never chasing our dreams and comfort is not worth that to us. We find our peace in knowing that regret far outweighs the discomfort and anxiety that comes with chasing your dreams. You just have to keep reminding yourself that life's too short to let other people get in the way of them, including that voice inside your head. So I guess the point of me saying all this is I just want you to know that if you're currently overcoming something or chasing after your dreams, you're braver than you think. And if you've had some of the same feelings that we've been having, know you aren't alone and we can get through this together. That's why we're extremely grateful to be partnering with the Say Your Peace campaign. They aim to spark global change through self-transformation and community dialogue. We'd love to hear you guys say your piece on Instagram and tag us in it so we can hear your stories as well. You can follow them at Say Your Peace or head to the link in our bio for more information about this amazing campaign. As we adjust to van life and prepare to head south for the winter, we sense change is coming. Just as the leaves change color and prepare for the winter, we too are experiencing a transformation. She's being an angel. She's so cute today. <laughs> Look at that baby. We're so lucky to have such a beautiful ladies. Oh. Beautiful angel. She looked so happy when you said that. You're beautiful angel. It's currently eight o'clock. I just got back from the store. Gonna cook up a nice meal. And it's kind of like the first time we're trying out using the TV screen so I can, we can like multi watch as I cook and he lays in bed. Lazy <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. And I'm cooking a special meal that we used to have in Portugal. It's called cordon bleu, but not, not chicken cordon bleu, steak cordon bleu. So the first step is you really want to get in there. You want to flatten out the meat a little bit. Seasoned it with some salt and pepper. Sometimes the thought and feeling of change can bring about more anxieties. No more frequent long showers. No more visits with my niece whenever I want to. We know what's coming because we've done it before. And I think in some ways it makes leaving even harder. That's what I should have said, a full disclosure. If you want to live past 70, probably don't eat this meal. It's really unhealthy, <laughs> but really yummy for your tummy. We've been watching SEAL Team, and I think this is the first show we've actually gotten through a season together with, because Jamie normally gets really bored of the show and stops watching it or falls asleep. He's really liking this one, though. It's kind of ironic we chose this lifestyle because I've never been one to enjoy the process of change. I'm extremely sentimental and have a hard time letting go of things, especially those good things in my life. But I'm learning that change is an inevitable part of life. We can let it tear us down or we can learn to accept it and love it. Reminding ourselves that in order to grow, we must change. Sometimes that means letting go of good things for better things to come. And we know undoubtedly better days are ahead. All we have to do now is wait and embrace them as they come. All right, there we have it. Mm. Thank you. We don't have any tables yet, so make do with We in bed. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. It's good. Yeah? Mm. All right, my turn. <gasps> yes. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do on the bus was cook, so it's been really nice to get back in the routine of cooking a nice meal every night. Tonight, I decided that we're gonna go more. Tonight's the night! We're gonna go more vegetarian tonight. So for all you veggie people out there, I know the steak probably got you, but we're gonna make a nice bahami. Let me speak to the viewers. Val inspired from Gilligan Phantom meal. 
Um, this is about to die, so you better get your words out quick. This is my favorite meal that <gasps> Kelsey makes. You guys are in for a treat. I make it different every time, so I'm sorry about that. So the key to a good Baja me is you gotta get some good buns. So this is a nice sandwich roll. We're gonna toast her on up. And then literally you could put anything on this and it would taste good. Like it's just so good. Guys, this is the best sauce ever. If you've not discovered this sauce yet, yeah. mayonnaise and sriracha. It's for the lazy way. All in one. So they're just taking a bath right now. So let me talk to you guys for a minute while Kelsey's over there slaving away. Van life is not easy. The <laughs> voice crack. <laughs> <clears throat> Van life is not easy. It's not all Instagram pictures and and scenic views. End of the day, it's just like luxurious camping. The space is a very small space, so a lot of your time is spent outside. For us, it's been like a real adjustment, just getting used to being like this almost like crammed feeling. But honestly, I think we've took to it pretty well. I mean, it definitely helped that we were coming from the bus. We were living in luxury in the apartment. We had all the space in the world after we sold the bus, and now we're going back to living tiny. So we're in the adjustment phase. And with that, you tend to squabble and argue a little bit more. I don't so, think we really have. Have we? No, of course not. <laughs> so with moving into van life, we're concentrating on compromise. Aren't we, Kelsey? <laughs> I so think, it's all about compromise. And I think talking to each other. So like, for example. Communication. I know. So Jamie's really bad at cleaning up his toothbrush and like he leaves like dribble everywhere and then it suddenly starts to take over like the entire countertop and like there's just like toothpaste dribble everywhere. All right, this isn't a confessional. The point I'm trying to no, make. No, but what I'm saying is I told Jamie early on about the toothpaste and the problem that it would cause later on so that it doesn't cause a problem and he's done such a good job. He even bought a toothbrush holder, you guys. Thank you. So like that prevented a future argument from happening because it's all about speaking, talking to each other, telling each other what you want. So it's all about compromise. Like if someone wants to get changed, the other person cannot get changed. It's that simple. If one person want, needs to get on the bed to get something, the other person has to move out of the way. You're very much living together instead of living in the same space. Living in unison. I think that is a great way to put it. You are living in unison. You have to bounce off each other in a positive way because the little things can quickly become very big issues. So it's all about compromise, working together, and having a wife that makes killer food. More time appreciating each other, more freedom, and unexpected new experiences when you least expect it. That's why we chose to live this way. That's why at this point in our lives, there's no place we'd rather be than here together, coexisting in 83 square feet of space. So the first step is you really want to get in there and bang on that me. There's no way to say this without sounding inappropriate. The second top tip, you gotta pet your buns and like talk to them and tell them, okay, you're doing a great job, bun. Come on, you're almost there. Is this the level that our YouTubers <laughs> got to? This is the content we're putting out? People. You're stroking God. <laughs> that's what actually- What is this? That's a real Guys, I'm sorry. Pippa wants to say something. Oh. Meow. Okay.